I want to give you a little bit of introductory information about exam two in this class. Now, you've already taken exam one. You know what that was like. It covered chapters one through five, and it had 66 multiple choice questions. Well, exam two is builds on top of that. It has 80 questions, so it's longer. And the first 20 questions are derived from chapters one through five. What I did is several years ago, I looked at the questions that people were most likely to miss on chapters one through five. Then I wrote small variations on them and I put those 20 as the beginning of the second exam. So you have a chance to take stuff that maybe you didn't get right on the first exam and get it right on the second exam. Then each of the new chapters, six, seven, and eight, that's sampling and estimation and hypothesis testing, each of those chapters has 20 questions of its own. That's how we get to 80 total. And remember, we have something called a forgiveness policy. If you do better on exam two than you did on an exam one, I'll replace your exam one score with the newer, better score. So it's an incentive to go back, see how well you did on the other material. You can see how you did on exam one and figure out what you need to study. Also, as a reminder, you can use scratch paper and you can use a calculator. You can even use your cell phone as long as it's only as a calculator and you're doing this on Proctorio. You cannot use any study sheets. You can't use any formula sheets. It needs to all be done from memory. That's because that's the way the department has instituted its mandatory department final exam. And I know that some of the material, especially on hypothesis testing, is a little tricky. So I encourage you to go back through the quizzes. That's your best way of preparing for the exam. Go back through the quizzes. Make sure you understand why one answer was correct, why the others weren't. Make sure you look at the quiz review videos. And then also, I do have a two hour long video that can help prepare for this exam if you wanna watch it. The link to that is on the syllabus. There's also one for exam one and there's one for the final exam. But it's the same general procedure. Think of the quizzes just longer and the major qualification being that like the other exams, you have to do this one from memory. But go through the quizzes, go through the post tests, watch the videos until you feel confident with the material. You should do wonderfully on exam two.